Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we're playing some Fizz. Pretty sure he just dies. I get a first blood. Can I base fast enough and run back mid lane to not miss any minions and I still get to abuse the fact that I got first blood? I'm glad I got first blood because uh, I think that this matchup mid lane is awful. <laughs> I'm playing versus a Cassidy. It's a good counter pick because uh, Cassidy's passive is just you take less magic damage. And then also he has a good magic damage shield. And also his build path normally is something that gives him uh, a bunch of tankiness through like Rod of Ages or Seraphs. So then because I can't one shot him, uh, he can ulti on top of my face. And he has really low CDs compared to Fizz. So could be a struggle. I do want to try to harass him during the early game if possible. But I don't want him to shield. Alright, Electrocute proc. As you can see, pretty even trade overall. Gonna auto attack him once there. Ooh, I got level 2 way before him, obviously, because of the first blood. But still, this is uh, not the easiest position to like harass him in, because we're not level 3 yet. It's gonna last at some of these. I wonder if I can just fight this guy or not. Actually, I shouldn't. Maybe if I was like level 3 or something, but... Whenever he uses that, I'm just going to get rid of it because I don't want to deal with him hitting me. He has an auto attack reset just like me, but his is probably a little bit better because it doesn't cost any mana or anything. Or it costs 1 mana. Just not really that. So I'm just going to be harassing him under turret here by using my E as a way to not get hit by the turret shot. But I did Q into auto into auto attack reset. Wait, do we really think that they're invading? There's no freaking way. Was I not paying attention to something that was like, why, why would they ever invade this? I don't understand. The reason why it's like not a good invade is because it's literally... You have no flash. You literally died early on. Like, once you get caught out, you're just dead. I wish that bard stayed mid to freeze the wave. Oh, wait. Is he? Dude, if you freeze the wave for me, it's so good. Hmm. Oh, tiny freeze, huh? Ooh, and you stunned him, too. Really, did he want the kill? He literally did on the way. Probably was worth it to do that. I mean, Kasten probably did that out of desperation because he knows that the game is already in a pretty terrible state for his team, so the best thing that he can do is try to do something crazy to at least get some type of gold because the champion is quite nuts, so... I really want to roam. I don't want to be in this matchup. I don't want to even uh, go for a poke here. I want to start it with a Q, if anything. Clear out this vision. And then we just run straight bot lane. It looks like they just win, though. Darn. Well, oh well. Is the wave screwed? The wave looks really bad. Let me fix it. We're going to be going Lich Bean first item because it's one of the best items for mages nowadays and it's a really good item for Fizz as well. But... Mm, yeah, we'll just do it. In fact, maybe just going, like, the Sheen early on could be, like, really beneficial. My mana pool is really tiny. Um, but I'll probably build a Ludens later just to make it so it's not as small. This guy's also not going to tanky cast and build. That's honestly kind of good for us. It would be really sucky if he went for something a bit more difficult to go against. 
I'm not even six brother, so we're not gonna help him because there's nothing that I can really do to follow that up. We should just be doing like every single possible objective. Okay, well, he almost got me, I guess. I kind of just knew that I wouldn't die to his next combo because I was pretty healthy still. So that was just like, I know his damage. I don't really know why he attempted that so aggressively. He probably could have gotten away with just taking a decent trade and then backing away. Maybe he just wanted to abuse that I wasn't six yet. I don't know, but I'll take it, dude. Whenever we last hit with our W, it's just a push faster. It isn't really that beneficial. It gives you back all of the mana, though, so you don't really... It doesn't cost anything, so you could do it. Why not? I'm going to go Sork Boots early on. I feel like still it might be more beneficial to roam than just kill uh, the Cassidin. The only issue is that I really want to shove in waves and not give up waves and stuff. Like, losing this entire wave would not be beneficial, even if I ran straight bot. I don't like that. I don't care about his Qs right now. Most Kassadins don't max uh, Q first. I'm just going to run straight bot lane here. My pathing is kind of strange. Looks like that guy's going to die, though. This Nautilus is also wanting to die for some reason. And then I'm just going to go back mid, because if I don't, then we're just going to lose a bunch of stuff. I don't know what the heck that Nautilus was trying to attempt there, but we are so fed. My goodness. I know this guy plays kind of far away. You can also buffer cast an R like that, so even though he got hit by Snowball, he still positioned himself so far away to the point that it's not really punishable. The best way to play it is still, in my opinion, just like abuse the fact that probably bot lane's perma diveable and stuff. I think? Oh, that guy left, huh? I was going to go in to try to kill the uh, Kog'Maw, but... Turns out he is not even there. We're kind of on a timer a little bit with uh, how Kassadin scales. But inside of teamfights, I might just ignore him and obviously just try to kill like the squishy people. Is he going to try to dive top? Do a little bit of poke damage onto him. He's honestly kind of low now. If he thinks that I roam again, I might be able to uh, kill him with shark. Because he might try to ulti the wave to fix it. Yeah, isn't that crazy? I killed him without Ignite there. Isn't that nuts? So, uh, because I've been doing so much roaming, he probably thought that once again I roamed. But, little does he know, I'm not always going to be roaming. We're going to switch it up a little bit, make it way more complicated for him to know when I'm here and when I'm not. And we get a free kill because of it. And my buy is ridiculous, too. I just hope that my team can settle down with all the fighting, though, because it's starting to make it kind of difficult. A fed Kog'Ma is scary, and he scales super well. I'm pretty sure he scales better than Ezreal. And he's already up 25 farm. At least they don't have an enchanter. I feel like Enchanters are pretty good against Fizz, and they have uh, somebody that only has CC, so maybe I can like try to one-shot. If it was like a Lulu Kog'Maw, then obviously Lulu can do a lot to a... Uh... Little bit of poke. As you can see, his trade back was like pretty even, if not completely even. 
And that's just because his champion's ridiculous against mine. We're just super fortunate that we had a good early game. Hmm. I'm quite low. That guy immediately dies. I need to be super patient here. We can't win this very easily. Aatrox is here too. It's not even worth it. Like, this is just not a winnable fight. I would just die if I went in, so we're just gonna not do it. I'm worth such a big shutdown. And this Nunu is going full AP for some reason too, which is frustrating. I don't know why he's doing that. I feel like Nautilus is going to come mid and try something. That guy's dead. Graves ult? Or what? I'm holding on to my E to see if he was going to get baited and flash for me, but he didn't. Still pretty happy about what I got. That kind of scared me. I don't think I should go mid guys. It's probably too risky. You know, what if I went like a Lyandre's on Fizz? Could it be decent? Wherever Nunu goes, he actually just dies and takes a bad fight <laughs> every single time. No matter where this guy tries to attempt to do anything, he just is always dying. It is ridiculous. I don't even know if I can fight bot, but I'll go. That guy is a Bork. This is probably not something that I want to do. Like, I could try to kill the Kassadin, but then there's a Blade of the Rune King Kog'Maw who's just going to be melting me. I should probably defend bot lane too. There's no reason for me to go mid. What? Okay, never mind. You're staying. I was going to go bot lane because I thought that uh, the Kog'Maw was going to commit for... I really wish this guy wouldn't go full AP, dude. It really sucks that he is... Like, he could just go, like, Abyssal Mask or something to make me strong, but... Won't. Got the plate. Um, uh, Kasten's even building Magic Resist now. Not cool. Not cool at all. I'm on the way, bot lane. This could be a somewhat challenging fight. But... Can attempt. Nala's purposely blocked the fizzle, so the teammate survives, so... Dude, what terrible timing for this bar to get caught. I was literally just about to go on this guy, and now... What? I cannot believe my Q hit a minion? Like, what just happened? Also, how is Bard dying? Oh, how is Bard dying? What is he dying to? Hmm. I guess I'll go Shadow Flame, actually. Might be better. I'm also going to take red. Never mind, I would rather just get to this. Oh, never mind. Again. Darn. I was hoping that we could pick him, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be a possibility.
That guy will die to that. Play smart. This Kassin's actually like as strong as I am, but I have a 1,000 gold bounty on my head, so... What is my team trying to attempt topside, dude? We don't have, like, anybody around. I'm gonna die here. Oh, never mind. I was able to use my Q to escape. Just kidding. I miss my shark really badly. I might still die. I'm worth 1k. You can see how desperate they are to kill me because I'm worth so damn much. We're super lucky that even though I miss shark, I was able to use Nautilus as a Q to escape. I'm also going to just quickly do this and leave. I don't even care about that cannon because the uh, Cassidy was nearby and I'm still not going to try to give my shutdown. It's really bad if I do. Shadow Flame finished. Because I'm worth so much, we should just buy this. This will hopefully save me like one single time, I hope. I hope. Nautilus is pretty caught. That's sick. I can probably take this straight into the enemy team. I mean, they can't really catch me. Ooh, nice. We just have to play patient around our E here. Uh, my team should be able to do the dragon, so in the meantime, I will just go do something else. Fourteen kills, man. If I land shark on this guy, I'm pretty sure he gets one shot. Just risk it. Darn it. <laughs> oh well. I'm completely blind when I do that, so... You never know. It was kind of close. If it tags him, then he dies. No shark for a bit. Is my team gonna... If we're gonna start a fight without my ult. Maybe. No? Nunu just used Proto Belt to help do the dra or this Rift Herald for some reason. Uh I'll go Walling, I guess. I don't like that I'm on vision there. I'm gonna go around a different way, so I'm just never seen. I want people to always not know where I'm at. That guy dies immediately. That guy dies. You're gonna flash over that wall, you can tell. <laughs> oh, you kinda messed that up. I'm completely out of mana. Zero. It's time for me to go. I really do need to build, like... I feel like I need this now. Like, building the Zhonyas, who cares, right? Because I already still have the Seekers, so... I can still use that one time. Even though we're so fed, very losable. 
It's kind of scary that I just face check that. I wonder if I can one shot this guy. If I land a full range shark. Your shark does more damage the more distance it has. I don't feel like we can contest that. I don't even feel like using my E to push out waves because I'm scared I'm just going to run out of mana. Still, despite having this item. Hmm, probably dead here. Almost was able to kill Cassidy. It's because I got hit by one thing. My team, I don't know if they're strong enough to even do anything here. I hope that they can, but I'm quite worried. I like how Nunu's just focusing the Baron still. Hey, Ezreal damage coming through a little bit. Nunu still secures it. This isn't a bad death, honestly, if this does get done. This is how it's supposed to be played, which I'm, I'm glad that my teammates did do it. If, if you send multiple people to go kill side lane and there's Baron up, that means that it technically should be a huge numbers advantage around the Baron. And it was, so... I'm glad also Zack is building for me too. Or maybe he's not even building for himself, but... Cast and Bounty? Yeah, it's fine, dude. I'm still worth another 1k. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> what on earth... Is that? I probably go Zanya's here. Dragon's coming up, but I really want to take this because otherwise I can't afford my item. I still think we can probably win these fights pretty easily. I mean, the best case scenario is that I land a shark on Kogma and just melt him in the beginning, and then the rest of my team can deal with Cassidin. Because Cassidin isn't the best at killing everybody in a team fight. He's about to spike pretty hard. His Archangels is almost done. Hello. Zach is going top and he's not. Okay, whatever. They're just giving it, it seems. Nice. I think Kassadin beats me side lane now. It would be so difficult to beat him. For some reason, I was like gonna say like, I'm gonna TP top to help out my teammate, but I have Ignite, so what the hell am I saying? Should definitely be sieging. Sharking him is good, we don't need to do anything else. Kog'Maw seems tilted based off of how he's playing. We're not even going for objectives, we're just going for graves. It's not bad to chase <clears throat> if everybody's on the same page and nobody dies because of it. The reason why it's not bad is because at least when you kill somebody, the death timers are significantly longer, so you have a lot of time to do stuff afterwards. Alright, I feel like the enemy team just tilted. That's really good because this game could have been pretty challenging if they didn't just give up. Might be able to just end. Really? Okay, well. And I'm gonna die? Jeez, dude. Or almost die. I have Zanyas here, the Kog'Maw passive. I don't know if you noticed that, but there was a Kog'Maw passive chasing me down. Graze ult me? No? So yeah, GG. 16 kills on Fizz. Probably one of the best Fizz games I've ever done because this is also like still inside a high elo. I'm pretty sure this bard, I've seen his name before, is Challenger or was previously. So pretty high elo lobby from what I notice. Um, remember that it's a new split, so everybody's like way lower ranks. I don't even know how many challengers there are. I bet there's not even 300 yet. So uh, well played to bard. I like that. And Zach. GG's to them. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'm going to try to get another Fizz game, so hopefully you guys enjoy the Fizz. 
probably a more realistic one. As you can see, my damage dealt wasn't that crazy, but uh, you're able to snowball much harder if you don't get counterpicked that hard by a really difficult matchup. If your verse is something uh, that is more of a control mage, you can just dive them on repeat like Syndra. So maybe next game we don't get counterpicked. All right, see you guys later. Bye. Hey, everybody. Welcome to game two of the Fizz playing versus a Zed. Um, it's actually not a counter matchup. Some people think Fizz like counter Zed because you can use E to dodge his ult, but a lot of times... If he uses Shadow into Shuriken, uh, you will lose, so... The problem is what will happen is that he'll do Shadow Shuriken and then jump in and start hitting you without using ultimate. Now what? You have to use E because he's hitting you with auto attacks. So there's the problem. <laughs> That's why like, it's not just like, oh yeah, just use your ultimate to uh, counter him. Also, God, my E damage is ridiculous. I've also not been hit by a single Q, which is bonkers, so. Pretty happy about that. Can I auto attack Q under turret to trade versus him? I feel like that was super favorable for me. He used his shadow, missed everything. Doesn't have his E available yet. We almost have all three of his potions. He doesn't have refillable, so those are potions that he like legitimately loses as well. He missed cannon. Early game has been good for us. Early game isn't the only part of the game, though, so... Is this kill angle? I'm going to put a point to my W for more damage. Because uh, my W is the point and click ability and my E will never land. Sometimes I like doing that on certain champions if it's a different type of ability. The W is the thing that increases my auto attack damage. Auto attack reset to get all these. My god, man, we're literally gonna make it so, like, my my win is gone. Sometimes this happens where, like, people go super aggressive when they shouldn't be, and it, like, ruins the entire fight. Yep. Viego just ruined everything for me. After everything that I did, I get my solo kill and stuff. He just can't handle that... He's gonna miss a scuttle crab, so he just ruins the game for me. Or rather everybody. What do you mean how is waste wrong this early, bro? Well, Zed got double buff, Zed got a kill. My entire lead is it's still like slightly there, but it's way less. So oh well I suppose. Was Viego level 2 during that fight? A little bit of poke damage. I'm gonna reach level 6 very soon, huh? Use your shadow, bro. What is Kindred just chilling mid? I'm so damn strong still. Because I'm just so over leveled. I 
I wish that I could abuse the fact that I can like poke underneath turret and stuff, but I'm worried that I'm gonna get ganked. Ooh. You have your ultimate. He just used his shadow, so I wanna abuse that. Seems kind of getting destroyed here. There's no way to catch Foy. We're just gonna go mid instead. At least I was able to assist bot lane somehow. Diego's gonna turn back too. We might be able to help kill this guy or he'll just straight up die. Nice dude. I'm glad you were able to find your own footing back into the game. That's huge. I'm not a fan of having Viego jungle normally because sometimes they are irrelevant while they just power farm and then just don't do anything inside of team fights. But this guy, at least, despite I think that his early game decision making for the Scuttle Crab thing was so bad, that was a really good play. It was very fortunate that his Alistar form lasted so long. When you aren't level six on Viego, you actually don't get to decide when you leave that form. So. It was quite lucky. Oh, I'm dead here. Ooh, I'm not dead, actually. Very lucky. The Kindred Ult saved me. Mid wave is okay, I think. So I'm just gonna leave it. <laughs> Zero games play, so we didn't know what to do. If he uses Shadow, I might just ult. And then we just get his flash. I probably can't get him here. I'm not even worth the shutdown, so I think a one for one is okay. Nice job not getting hit by that, although you did just... <laughs> She slid herself straight towards that brush, which I thought that Kindred might be there. I guess she wasn't, though. Is Kaisa gonna get dove? Maybe I should go down there and see if I can, like, just be in the area? No way, I actually defended it. Should I just take it? Because it's so low. Yo, Viego, terrible news. Your Kindred stole your red buff. But don't look mid. Damn, he went up. If Zach tried to cut, I think we could have killed him, but I would have had to somehow like tell the Zach what to do, so. Now, whenever I do that, he can look for an ultimate play. Just be aware that it's kind of ballsy to do what I just did. He's gonna go for a shove, I think. Maybe we can just dive top. Garen seems pretty screwed, no? I feel like I also shouldn't need to use my ult. We 
can just save it. Just run back mid lane. Zed does not go for the plate. There's a ward there. I thought that uh, you were gonna look for like a rel flash engage, but I guess you don't even have flash. I might be able to shark this guy when he goes for the wave. Free kill, because he went for the wave, we just use shark from fog of war to land it, and then he has no way out. Go back to shoving in. Do I really have to rotate for this? I hope not. I really wanted his base because I have so much money. I'm so rich right now. I had needless. Alrighty. We are not in a bad position, are we? I kind of like the loot in Spurs more than the Lich Bane because you don't lose out on all that mana. The mana issue stuff feels so bad. Uh, if you ever want to shove out a wave, do it right in front of them and then use your Q to escape like that. And you can sometimes get away with doing it right in front of them because if they try to do something, then you just can uh, run. You normally like dodge a skill shot when you uh, use your... Your Q through a minion. How funny would it be if I killed him the same exact manner? Just sharking him. Pretty simple uh, way of killing Zed there, huh? We waited for uh, him to ulti me before using my Q because I think that there's a chance he can actually dodge the damage of it. So I don't really want to get hit, obviously. I just dodged her slow, so because I didn't get slowed by her E, I can just run away. This could be a 15 minute game. They could be quite tilted. We'll see what happens. We have such a gigantic lead already and uh, sometimes it gets really frustrating playing versus certain champions. For the entire team, they're like, how the hell are you losing so hard mid lane? And they all start flaming each other and then beat, like, not Viego, uh, oh. The Zed is too good, Never mind. He's back in the game. Is it probably not a fight that I could fight? I was going to say it's going to be an awkward fight because I have to go for so many targets and I don't have my ultimate yet, but... I'm super dead. And I also... What's weird is that that was a special interaction. I eat his Q. It still went off and still silenced me. And because it silenced me... I couldn't recast my Q. If you didn't know, there's two casts to your E. You either hop on it and fall down and it creates a big AoE and it slows, or you can double cast it and it makes a much smaller radius, but you get to hop much further. So I tried hopping away, but despite jumping on my pole, he still managed to silence me. So I died. 
which is interesting. Not really sure why he was able to silence me when I'm... That's like silencing somebody while they're in the middle of Zhonya's. Like, what? How is that possible? Man, what is going on mid lane? Holy, I'm on the way, I guess. Viego has a crazy flank going on, but I think he just messed up really hard. I'm over committing so hard for this, but I guess I already died, so whatever. I don't know why we wanted to kill the Hoya so badly as a team, because it's not very easy to do. He had an Archangels too. He already has two core. They're never gonna FF this game. This game's completely winnable for them. Hoya is ridiculous. I don't think Kaisa does enough damage to kill him. Maybe she doesn't really deal anything right now. Oh, what a not very good situation to be in. Hoi is such a ridiculous character in the meta right now, and he honestly is already super difficult for me to kill. You can see that he just can tank so much just from having the Seraphs. His shield is gigantic. His shield is absolutely huge. Do we even want to contest this? Zed's top. My team doesn't really look like they want to contest. So I guess we're just giving it. I feel like we could have contested because I have my shark and stuff, but nobody's here. I'm not going to contest alone. Garen's going to come bot lane. I got to not stick around very long. I think that I'd hard lose to him in a 1v1. We're in a, a little awkward scenario here where I don't want to be bot lane, but also it seems difficult for me to help engage fights too. I guess it's mostly on Zack to do it. If I just come group and give bot lane, is that good? Balling's worth a huge amount of gold, the turret. I'll just get him off the turret, I guess. At least. You guys get top turret? Nice. There is a kindred bot side. They're like trying to do the same exact thing to me that they did to a Zed top right now. They're playing for bot, kinda. He's gonna base. They're down here. I have my Zhonya's though, or rather uh, Seekers, so that will help out for next team fight. Zed is 3 and 10, guys. Massive mid fight. Didn't work out, did it? What do we want to do? If I go Balling, I'm worried about them starting Baron. But. I probably will just have to match Zed at least. And maybe was seen from that. Oh, super awkward position to be in. Kaisa might be in a bad spot. No?
Damn it, dude. I really miss Cannon. So freaking sad. Zed was in the area, too. I want to fight so bad, but we can't start a fight anywhere. Unlucky. Good job killing that guy. That's huge. I'll rotate over to the Baron. Let's try to do it. I'm on the way. Nice kill. Should immediately do the Baron no matter what. Kaisa might get caught potentially if Alistar was like brush camping somewhere. Now, as soon as they don't rotate for this, I'm just going to go back bot lane to defend the bot turret. Because I think that they just get it for free. And I don't want to lose this. This turret's worth too much money. Oh, let's just take this so Kendra doesn't get it, I guess. Oh, Diego's here. Never mind. He can just have it. My bad. I just dragged it away, so it's going to take you longer to get it. Zed is coming back bot lane. Zed does not have any defensive items yet. I don't even think I need to do anything to help out with this. We'll just watch him die. Big fight going on. I'll immediately come over. This should be a good one as long as... Okay, that guy went a bit deep. What a shark. out if he does then or just not even ult i just die garen w is uh kind of really 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 ridiculous if you just time it well if you don't know when garen presses w which i was hoping was just like maybe down or he missed times i don't remember what it is i think it's like 60 percent damage reduction so like if i would deal 500 i deal <laughs> more like 220 like it's it's a huge amount of damage reduction so, pretty simple way to counter me. Obviously, should have not overcommitted that hard. Kindred Ultimate is really annoying to play versus, have to admit. Nice steal, I guess, even though you die. Are they going to try to... If they push mid, I feel like we actually can fight too. Kindred Ultimate has to be down. Yeah, but every single time that I get a crazy good ultimate off, like, Kindred just completely counters it. It is so annoying. I hate it. I think Kindred ult is one of the best ulties as a jung as a jungler for comebacks. It really is ridiculous. Man, I wish that I had a way to see you. I wonder if he'll fight me now because I used my shark. I think I still win. 
but there's a chance that he also just has his like teammates nearby. Dude, he's in here. <laughs> uh, it's fine. Maybe you still get him. Uh, I can't really go on that guy. Can you go on him? I feel like overcommitting is bad. Okay, Rel. It was not an overcommit because none of her teammates went around. I felt like she was posturing forward because her teammates were around. I really felt that. Aaron? I'm not trying to stay top lane here because, as you can see, my bot lane is taking turrets and stuff. And there's no reason for me to really overcommit. Also, this Garen probably still crushes me because he has even hysterics now, and that's really scary to go against. Where should I go next? I feel like I actually don't need this Void Staff, really. Nice kill on Zed. Just keep on abusing the Zed. I'm about to face check this. Push out all three lanes, I guess. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm not going to overcommit here. Because if I do, I'll die. My damage was actually nothing on her. Did my Lich Fane, like, expire or something? Maybe Flat Pen's honestly really good. Because, uh, they don't really have any MR still on so many of their squishies. Could be super valuable versus their Huey and everybody. It could actually be good against everybody except for the Alistar. Um, I guess I'll help. Who just warded that? Oh man. My team's... Yeah. Big yikes. But, are they winning up there? We can just win the game. It's a very sloppy way to ending because we just threw with the giant um, thing that they just got, but we should be able to fight them. Hey! Don't be scared. No. That's so dumb. If he dies, we 100% we win because they have no wave clear anymore. That's why I committed so hard, because I just knew we would win no matter what. <sighs> well, let's see if they still can do it, maybe. I tried using Zanyas, but I got feared. The wave fear kind of lasts a bit of time, so... Oof. Kaisa didn't rush it, really? I feel like she could have rushed it. She would have been there by now, just DPSing it super hard. 
Bummer. Uh, do I want to go void still? I guess I just won't buy anything. I'll just buy a blue pot. Viego do Viego things. Let's go. Reset? Do you, do you die or do you get another reset off? They only kill Rel. That's not really that bad of a champion to... Oh. Nobody's able to help. Help to Kaisa. No. catch back up, can I? No, come back. Lame. Garen intentionally blocked it because he knows that if it hits Viego, I mean, the way he's dead, so... We really need triple inhib. Bad. They still have no MR. I think it's death cap time. Let's just get a really, really high amount of AP. My ultimate is 1.2k. 120% AP ratio if I land it at max distance. That's as strong as a Lux ult. Except for that, if you get tagged by it, you are uh, dead because you are tagged by it. This is an awkward fight for me to be a part of. Whoa. Way? No way. He got off his sound so dumb. I can't believe he got that off. Once again, Kindred Ultimate doing Kindred Ultimate things. I think we lose the game, maybe. It might just be over. I think it's GG, actually. We lost. Did we lose? I guess we'll just wait and see. Maybe death timers aren't bad enough, but it could be it. Kindred ult is too OP. Every single team fight, we're about to win it, and then she pops it, and then it's it's lost. We still have another chance of playing it out, though. But God, Kindred ult is just. So ridiculous for comebacks. One five seven is a pretty bad KDA. Might not be sixteen deaths, but that still means that you've barely been part of like any kills all game. I was hoping Zed would be dumb and let himself get killed again. But he didn't. And now they have magic resist. This game has been holding on because of how strong this Foy is. Garen also has magic resist now, so another champion that unfortunately is going to be extremely good against me. Uh, awkward fight. If I shark her at max distance, it honestly is barely going to deal anything since I don't have void. And then if I Shark Huey, all he's going to do is Zhonya's, but zhonya him, I guess, would be quite good. So. I 
wonder why Kaisa went AP Kaisa when we literally are like full AP team. If we miss Shark like that, it's not that bad to just back away. Or I didn't necessarily miss, but it's just not a very good fight for us. Our base is going to be in shambles soon. They want to definitely do dragon, if anything. Wow, Rel just went in so deep, and this Diego went hard for who? Mm, they're kind of chunked, but Kindred is going to pop ultimate to keep everybody alive while they just end, though. Goodbye. You got me. Well, I tried. I can't carry this. I did my best, boys. Oh, wait, the wave is cleared. Actually, Kaisa's gonna respawn. I still think that there's no way to defend it, though. Their, their uh, team comp's better than ours at this point in the game. But you guys won 4v5. You guys won without a mid laner, so congrats to you. I guess we tried to win without an AD carry. It was AD carry versus mid, and AD carry, I guess, is more useful. Like, Kaisa damage is just actually non-existent. She's dealing damage to Zed, but the Zed is the weakest person and has no MR. Everybody else is just super tanky. Like, I just don't understand this build path. It's so bad. Why would you ever go this build path instead of full AD? I thought full AD Kaisa is also pretty good right now, too, instead of something like this. we can rush the Baron, right? You guys actually do it fast enough? Baron scales with um, the game time, so yeah. Yeah, my whole team is uh, chasing the Garen, who is unkillable, I guess, and they still can't get him. All right, he finally died. You know, that's kind of insane that my team didn't all die. Also, we're trying to fight with Kaisa being super low. I don't know if that's really the smartest. Yeah, because something like that could happen where she just literally gets herself killed. Just give the Baron, I guess. Uh, I'm just not gonna build a Void Staff. I'm gonna sell this. Or I'm not going to build a Death Cap, I mean. I'm going to build a Void Staff. Isn't this, like, super gone? It's not? What? Did they all base? I guess we're banking on it. They did not base, guys. They are indeed back. Dude, I'm gonna go heal. I'm like half HP almost. I don't have lifesteal like you. I don't have that luxury. I need 600 gold. Kind of far away from it. I need like 300 gold. I don't think that we can contest, guys. It's really hard to get in.
But Kaisa just got solo killed by the super weak Zed. They couldn't get him. Alright, it's finally over. I didn't get to buy my item either because we, for some reason, decided to just run into the team fight. And by we, I mean my team just didn't want me to farm. Anyways, thanks for watching. I don't really mind a loss like this. I mean, I kind of did the best thing that I could possibly do, but... Sometimes, uh... I guess it's just a bottling gap, huh? 18 deaths is pretty bad. But anyways, hopefully you guys still enjoyed the Fizz commentaries. Uh, as you can see, kind of destroys Zed. It can do some crazy stuff versus him. Unfortunately, uh, it is a team game. And even if you play extremely well, and I felt like I deserved that win way more than the uh, Zed did, Koi probably has the same feeling about uh, how he crushed my bot lane. Because my bot lane did get kind of demolished and uh he probably would have been pissed off if he lost this game because their my bot lane didn't deserve the win right so nice try guys thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out farewell bye bye